Hello chess friends and welcome to Yazar of Chess Channel and welcome to the most spectacular game from the Computer Rapid Chess Championship Super Finals between the two top engines Stockfish 17 and Lila C0. In the Super Finals Stockfish dominated against Lila C0, it was again a clear result after 250 games they played in this finals, uh, Stockfish gained 138.5 points against Lila C0's 111.5 points, so it was a plus 27 result for the fish Stockfish was again much much stronger but i think lila c0 also played awesome awesome chess games i think the most spectacular games that we have seen this super finals were the winning games by lila uh they were really really incredible and also in one game that we have covered already from this final lila c0 even managed to win the game with the black pieces in a much much worse position so nothing is clear it's still in this ai chess world you see it's not like stockfish is winning every game stockfish can also lose some games so that's why i think it was a really really incredible and epic match for us to follow and i've prepared really this most spectacular game from the super finals in which you see an immortal self stalemate idea by lila c0 so lila will manage to squeeze the draw in a seemingly losing position with an incredible immortal really self stalemate idea if we could, could compare maybe this chess game to a football game uh, this match i would explain something like this one team has uh the whole time the ball in their feet and they're having 30 shots on the goal they're had they're hitting the crossbar three times and uh, the opponent couldn't um, couldn't manage even to um, get one shot on the goal and then in the 90th minute uh, they make a goal and make a draw so this this is something simple like that uh lila c0 was i think uh through the whole game on the downside but then uh, found really one of the most incredible chess ideas uh, that you see in your life so let's dive now into the game with the white pieces the fish open with move e4 we have c6 by lila the karokan d4 d5 and now after move the e5 the advanced variation we have now the botany cards uh variation simply uh trying of course to disconnect these two pawns in the center of the board it's of course similar also to the french defense but it's not the french defense i had some discussions uh with uh, some of my viewers it's simply the karokan but with a different sideline there are of course uh, similar strategic concepts like in the french defense uh, you can get of course also the same position out of the french defense uh, but usually you don't lose um, this tempo move first of all you don't play c6 and then afterwards c5 so now immediately uh, the pawn chain is uh, challenged and uh, here stockfish continues now with d takes c5 we have now the move e6 uh, here by lila trying to get the uh, pawn back stockfish defends it knight to d7 bishop to b5 pinning now of course the knight and now there is a huge tempo around the score c5 here and now queen to c7 uh, here lila continues the pressure against this pawn we have now b4 stockfish supports it allows here e uh, lila c0 to take out now the pawn on e5 and now stockfish plays a solid c3 and lila continued with knight to f6 and this is now the last move that was pre-arranged by the organizer from this point on the engines are calculating the position for themselves stockfish continues of course with knight to f3 hits the queen queen drops back and now now queen to d4 good move by the fish i would say not allowing e5 to happen uh if e5 happens then i think uh, with this powerful and mobile center if you could just imagine maybe the position when black gets finally the e5 goal then the pawns are rolling then you can make maybe even some moves like e4 or d4 then you get some spaces here so so far stockfish is not allowing that because of uh this idea of course if you play something like this when then we can pick it up because you cannot recapture of course uh here with the knight that's of course pinned now by the bishop on b5 so good good move here by the fish queen to d4 a6 we have bishop to f4 counter play here by the fish queen to a7 and now a huge huge idea again by the fish bishop takes d7 giving up now the bishop for knight risky choice i would say here by by the fish but if you retreat uh here to uh, a4 then i think black will find get into the game after bishop to e7 casting casting and i think in the later stage of the game uh, maybe even b6 can happen maybe this pawn chain on the queen side can be broken i think later maybe with some maneuvers of the bishop or maybe by with some maneuvers of the knight f6 e5 then maybe finally this e5 goal could be working here maybe uh here for for, for black so that's why bishop to d7 uh, which is great choice by the fish bishop to d7 we see now that the bishop is not so well placed it's simply blocked by its own pawn structure here on life course we have now a4 the fish is not allowing this move bishop to b5 which could be very dangerous 
it would of course prevent white from casting bishop to e7 knight to d2 casting and now bishop to e5 stockfish has now great grip around the square e5 is not allowing again uh, anything to happen here around the square rook from a to d8 and now g4 stockfish goes for the immediate attack doesn't even castle and there is a certain rule in chess that says that you could launch a flank attack if the center is fixed if the center is closed if the pawns in the center are immobile and that's ex exactly i would say the case here uh nothing actually can happen in the center stockfish really fixed cemented the center and can even allow himself to launch a flank attack even without uh, the castle king here really really nice attacking idea here by the fish a5 trying of course to disconnect again here this pawn chain on the queen side rook to g1 a takes b4 and now a uh, c takes b4 the fish is still continuing of course uh here uh, the progressive ideas on the queen side you don't want to take of course uh, something like bishop to a4 then you get simply further pin then you can maybe even lose the piece on the a file the queen is then endangered on the a file so queen to a6 here by uh, lila c0 g5 we have knight to h5 and now queen to g4 attacking the knight and now knight to d4 what should you do now here from black's perspective you could maybe try queen to uh queen to d3 here you could maybe try to get uh, the queen very active but i think in this particular position white would even love to maybe even trade off the queens after something like knight uh, queen to f3 knight to f3 if the game gets a little bit too simplified i would say then black doesn't have so many great chances here this three versus one situation on the queen side this mobile pawns uh, are simply too much to handle i would say uh, here for black so that's why black still need to complicate things black has to do something about this endangered king that's still in the center of the board at least trying to somehow get it trying to get new uh act new pieces against the lonely king on e1 we have now knight to g7 so keep, lila keeps the pieces on the board queen to e2 now stockfish is trying now uh finally to um uh, to trade off the queens with the same plan to push the pawn on b5 and now knight to f5 good move maybe again by lila but even if you get something like this queen to a6 then b takes a6 actually it's not so dangerous now this pawn uh cannot be advanced because then maybe the c5 pawn uh, would be very weak so it's a different story now i would say again a much much better position for white but again uh here after knight to f5 uh now suddenly stock which doesn't want to trade off the queens when simply for the knight move knight to f5 after e takes f5 stock which fixes again the structure here on dash wars uh, support simply this powerful bishop on e5 we have queen to a8 a5 stop which continues the pressure d4 we have knight to b3 and you see now this position is much much better for white uh white has the spaces white has this dominant uh, bishop in the center of the board white has now powerful knight that will finally come into the game has this still three versus one situation on the queen side very very really nice nice attacking formation here by the fish uh, in this particular position instead of knight to b3 you cannot take bishop takes uh, d4 here because then you launch into um then you run into this tactic so black will simply play bishop to b5 uh hitting the queen you pick up maybe this one and after rook to d4 now suddenly i think the position could collapse here for for uh, white many pawns are on dark course black still has the dark square bishop on the board the king is still stuck in the center so um still probably a better position for white but of course uncomfortable to play here for sure so that's why knight to b3 stockfish is keeping the files locked that's the uh that's the strategic goal here because we have said the king is still in the center so you don't want to allow any open files here uh by black we have now bishop to c6 knight takes d4 now it's a different story because there were no ta tactics because the bishop was loose uh on d4 we have bishop to e4 and now queen to c4 not allowing also maybe a dangerous move by black the move f6 maybe black would try f6 and then trade off uh here the dark school bishop still continuing the game with a powerful light school bishop then uh this was now lila c0's plan that of course stockfish noticed we have now the move b6 uh we have c6 here i would say white is much much better now now stockfish is letting this pawns roll rook to d5 we have now the move a6 b5 here by uh, uh by uh, lila c0 and again the problem here for stockfish is that you cannot take knight takes b5 
uh, 90xb5 is actually not possible because of rook to c8 then black will simply continue the pressure here you're trying maybe to get the knight back but then rook takes e5 is also something that bothers now i think white in the continuity of the game f rook to e5 f takes e5 bishop to c6 you're trying to do something like this queen to d4 and now f rook to a6 uh i would still say this is an equal game because you're our up the exchange but as we mentioned many pawns are vulnerable here king is very very weak still in the center of the board and the black can always secure the king or cover himself maybe uh, if there are some back rank problems so uh, the endangered king i think is something as we mentioned that bothers now um uh here white in the continuation of the game so that's why from b5 stock which didn't uh, didn't take play now queen to c3 h6 by uh, lila c0 desperately trying to open somehow the position here also on the king side h4 of course by the fish queen to a7 and now rook to g3 rook to c8 again i would mention here white should be much much better my stockfish engine at home evaluates this position as 1.6 in white's favor so it's a huge huge advantage but you see now how Lila is trying to battle now in this particular position. King to f1. Stockfish improves a little bit the position of the king. h5. Rook to, uh, rook to e3. Bishop to f8. Rook to e2. We have king to h7. Tiny little improvement again of the king. Rook to d2. And now after rook to d8. Now comes the critical moment of this amazing and stunning game. Here... I took my time. I hear, here I let really the engine run at home. I analyzed this particular position really uh, more than for an hour at home. And I came to the conclusion in order to win somehow the game, in order to make anything out of this position, a white needs now to play the move C7. That's the only way to make any progress here. Uh, in the game knight takes b5 uh, has been played by stockfish which was now a huge huge mistake after c7 my stockfish engine at home evaluates this position as 2.6 now in white's favor suddenly uh, gives here a huge huge advantage uh, for white c7 is actually very dangerous because you continue now to push the pawns and actually in order to stay in the game black has to play now rook to d5 then after something like rook from a to d1 you pick up here the bishop that's now the only only defensive solution for for black then after f takes e5 rook to c7 at least you can get this annoying pawn and then after knight to b5 the fork uh black would then continue with queen to a6 would simply pin now the knight and then after queen to c7 you can pick up the knight here which comes with a check king to f2 and now after queen to b4 maybe maybe somehow black can hold this position but you see now the problems in this uh, particular case after queen to f7 bishop to g7 and rook to d6 there is now huge threat of queen to g6 so now you would be forced to play something like queen to c5 and then uh f4 in order to connect uh, the bishop to the pawn on g6 and then after something like queen to f4 bishop to f5 this is now the final position that i will stop here uh, in which okay white is two times up the exchange but we have to again mention again maybe even an unclear position to play because still white king is endangered black's king is more secure you're always vulnerable to some checks this pawn is weak so again a tough tough position to, to play for sure but this was the only way as i mentioned to play somehow uh to move c7 to make further progress and then after this exchange sacrifice to lose the pawn and then maybe go for the king especially around the square f7 but stockfish makes now huge mistake knight takes b5 uh i think this may mistake happen because uh this is a rapid game probably stockfish didn't have enough time to calculate the position now after knight to b5 lila continues now with queen to b6 counter attacks now the knight on b5 look at this stockfish has now three pawns here on the queen side but believe me or not in any of these lines now it's an amazing and thematic and epic draw because after queen to c4 that lila uh, pardon me the stockfish played lila gets challenged here around the square f7 stockfish continues now with bishop to g7 in the only way maybe the only way to somehow spice up the game is now to play queen takes f7 in the game stockfish played bishop to g7 which makes in the beginning really sense but let's see now first of all this option with queen to f7 
queen to f7 is a problem now because you give up now here the knight but it doesn't matter after king to e1 you have to now cover this bishop on g7 and then after queen to b7 you pick up this pawn after a couple of trades of queens here then you attack the bishop then you allow maybe a check you cover and after a couple of trades of pieces maybe you get the check but now uh here even if you try i don't know something like king to c2 then after bishop to e2 you pick up this one and uh here my a stockfish engine finally at home evaluates this position as equal that probably black will have to give up the bishop here for both of these pawns on the queen side and it would be a, maybe a rook and uh, three pawns against a rook and three pawns chess endgame so this was our analysis after potential queen to f7 this was the only way for stockfish somehow to spice up the game to keep somehow the progress here but stockfish played now bishop to g7 and now lila c0 found an immortal immortal really incredible tactic played now first of all rook to c6 here lila didn't grab the bishop immediately first of all attacked now the queen the queen dropped of course to f7 with a huge threat of uh maybe a discovered check maybe even a checkmate threat immediately you see now lila uh, is challenged stockfish built now an amazing mating net but now Lila found the immortal self stalemate with this stunning bishop to g2 really really wild stuff look at this what should you do let's see options if you try king takes g2 this is not an option because you get this one rook takes d2 you see you have to step back here to h1 and now rook to h2 is winning the game really really wild stuff look at this rook to c2 is coming then you get check and then checkmate on g2 so this is not working after bishop to g2 you have to now here pick up uh this uh, piece with the rook and now a new stunning move here by uh lila rook to c1 sacrificing another piece rook to c1 again has to be played you don't have any better squares rook to d1 here by lila now again lila gives up the piece and now after queen to f2 the last piece is sacrificed we have king to f2 and it's really an incredible and immortal stalemate really 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 wild stuff incredible ideas here by lila c0 really stunning stunning stuff uh allowing uh, here such a position i think again maybe you can download the pgn maybe you can analyze please this game for yourself at home i think the crucial mistake in this particular game happened after knight to b5 because the knight was simply too loose and as i mentioned uh here in the middle of the video probably too many opens uh open fouls happened here after knight to b5 a better choice was to keep maybe somehow the options with the move c7 we have seen still it would be a complicated game probably there are many sidelines that could have been played but i think here c7 crucial idea to keep the attacking flow now after knight to b5 let's again see this amazing stalemate idea bishop to g7 bishop takes g7 rook to c6 counterplay bishop to g2 and now this amazing amazing stalemate idea here by lila c0 so immortal game here by the top uh, two top chess engines by uh, stockfish and lila i really enjoyed this game this game was suggested to be by one of my viewers thank you thank you for suggesting me such beautiful games i've got now many suggestions by my viewers what what you cover from the computer rapid chess championship what you cover also from the tcc competition please continue to do so i enjoy really when i uh when i find uh, some games like this i will share immediately with you uh, it was really beautiful for me to see such an amazing idea for sure so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot uh, if you want to see more beautiful ai chess games like this check out our coverage of some computer championships of, of some other tcec competitions of some other games that we have covered from the computer chess rating list and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course